Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather and today we're doing duck. Duck in our air fryer. Now, if you don't have a deluxe air fryer, you should get one, but you should still be able to make this recipe. You just might have to make a couple adjustments and really watch your bird because the bird itself is very large. So if you've ever done a uh, whole chicken, like a rotisserie style chicken inside your air fryer, you'll be fine. Those of you that have done the air fryer rotisserie chicken, this is just like that. Only we have a few other ingredients and it's duck. So if you're ready for this adventure, let's get started. What you're going to need is one four to six pound duck, three teaspoons of kosher salt, half of an orange, four green onions sliced thinly, two cloves of garlic crushed, three teaspoons of minced ginger, half a teaspoon of five spice powder, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one fourth of a cup of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of honey, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. You're also going to need the other half of that orange juiced. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is dry off your bird really, really well. The other thing that I'll mention is I think my duck is a little too big for my air fryer, but I am not completely sure yet. So we're just gonna roll with it and it's gonna be fun regardless. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and salt your duck inside and out. So I have some kosher salt here. I'm just gonna salt it all the places. Um, you can brine your duck overnight, but most store-bought ducks are already in a brine um, because they're ex injected with a salt water solution. So you may not have to if you are buying your duck from the grocery store. However, if you're getting fresh duck off the field, um, you're gonna wanna brine your duck for at least 24 hours to make sure that, that salt really penetrates all the places. Also, if your duck came with any inside bits, we'll just call them inside bits, go ahead and discard those. You're not gonna need them. Also, if it came with any extra neck um, skin, go ahead and trim that off. We're not gonna need that as well. All right, so while I let that sit for a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and work on what's gonna go inside the cavity of this while we get it on the rotisserie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this orange in half and make sure you save the other half of the orange for the sauce at the end, because we're actually making a Peking type duck. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut this into a couple chunks because I kind of want the orange to go everywhere inside the duck. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put all of the other ingredients in this, the uh, filling section of our ingredients. So we're gonna put in all of our green onions. Um, we're also gonna add in our sesame oil, our garlic, our ginger, and the five spice powder. And then we're gonna give it a little mix and make sure that five spice powder is on all of the oranges, all of the things. So we're just gonna stuff all of this right inside the cavity of this bird. All right, and once it's in there, I'm gonna go ahead, I should have cut my twine before I started, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. Okay, now with clean hands, we're gonna do the twine. Just like with the rotisserie chicken we did a couple weeks ago, we are gonna give ourselves a lot of twine and several helpings of it because you definitely want more than less. The first thing that I wanna do is I want to somehow fold in this little section here. Um, but I feel like I want this on first before I fold that in. So maybe I will start Maybe we'll do the legs first, since we're sitting right here. Then we have something to tie to. Just like with the other chicken, we're gonna tie up its legs, um, but I'm gonna actually use a little knot in my string so that I can really get it on there and make sure that it stays. I'm gonna leave this off to the side because I may need it again in a second when I do this um, end tail bit, um, which it has some meat on it, so I definitely wanna keep it if I can. But if I don't wanna keep it, there's enough bones in there, like the cartilage between that I can just clip it off. I haven't decided which I'm gonna do, but I have thought about it. Okay, next we are gonna take this one winged bird, poor bird. We're gonna tie it up as tight as we can. So really tight. And then I'm gonna turn him over and I'm going to tie it back here as well, really tight, because I do not want that 
flopping around in my air fryer. I want it as tight as possible. All right, so everything's tied up. Let's look, see my dilemma. Um, this spit is not quite big enough for this chicken, unless I can squish that duck kind of in like a roll. So that is what I'm gonna attempt to do before I say, no, we're gonna have to do it some way else than on the spit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to see, see how it kind of does crunches and it will get a little bit smaller. If it's smaller, it will fit. We're gonna stick it right through the neck, right through all of those ingredients that we already put in. We're gonna use the little prongs to put it right through the breast right there. And we're gonna push as hard as we can. I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna see how far out it goes and see if we can get that to stick out. See it poking through? It's poking through right there. Okay, so since it's poking through at the top, I am going to go ahead and install my clamp on and see if I can get it into the right spot. Okay, I got it. Tighten it really well. And I'm gonna flip it around to the other side and re-tighten this side because this side slipped as I was pushing on it. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to trim off just a little bit of this neck bone. All right, and with that little piece of neck taken off, it looks like it will fit in my spit uh, just real nicely. Okay, let's turn it around for a moment. We are going to go ahead and use the leftover tie here, and we're gonna put one more tie onto our bird. We're gonna tie it um, horizontally or vertically or horizontally. Um, so I'm gonna tie that little tail piece upwards so that it doesn't flop out onto the spit while it's rotisserieing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim off those ropes and then go around and trim off anything else that is kind of sticking out. And your bird is now ready for your air fryer. Now just give it a feel and make sure you can still feel some of that salt because I just manhandled this thing and so now maybe the salt is gone. So maybe I'll put a little bit more, but first I'm gonna wash my hands. Now, if you cannot get your bird to get installed on your spit, you can just stuff it into your basket. I actually considered stuffing this whole thing into my basket. There would be no reason that you can't do that. The only reason that I paused is because I want the crispy skin that's gonna come off this duck at the end of our rotisserie time. If you put it in the basket, some of that skin is going to get stuck on the basket and you may or may not get that crispy, crispy skin that can be removed and eaten. It might be all stuck to the basket. But if your bird is too big for that, you could probably just get it on your basket like this. Um, I would just um, suggest putting it kind of cattywampus so that it's not touching any of the sides of your machine. But then again, if your duck is just too big, if you got like a massive steroids duck, which is very possible, you can also just pre-cut your duck. So like cut off the legs, cut off the, um, the wings, and cut the breasts into large chunks and put them in your basket and rotisserie the same way. You just can't use the stuffing and the stuffing, you guys, that's gonna make all the difference to this cook. All right, let's get, go ahead and get it installed. All right, and to install this in our deluxe air fryer, we're gonna use a little lifter tool. We're gonna wanna put it in the star side first, which is on the left side of the machine, and then get it settled in there before you set it on the shelf on the other side. All right, and once installed, you're gonna want to ensure that your guard is on the top. Um, basically, the, what this guard does is keep your food from touching the heating element at any time. So it gets a nice safeguard between your food and the heating element. So once it's installed in there and perfect, we're gonna get it going. So we're gonna set it on rotisserie for 45 minutes. At the end of 45 minutes, we're gonna come back here, temp it, and we're gonna check to see if it's done. All right, 45 minutes is up and you guys, look at that, look at that. Let's temp it real quick. It needs to get to about 180. 
and we're at about 130 ish. So let's go ahead and give it another 25 minutes. All right, and in the meantime, let's go ahead and get together our sauce that we're gonna actually cover the top of it and let go for the last five minutes. So I have my hoisin sauce, my honey, my soy sauce, and then using my citrus press, we're gonna do this whole, well, we're gonna want the juice of this whole orange, but since it doesn't fit in all in one piece because it's humongous, we'll cut it. Then we're gonna either whisk or stir to combine. And then when that comes to temperature, we're gonna dust that on and give five more minutes and then we're gonna be done. So I'll be right back. Look at how beautiful. Now we have a few little burnt bits right there, but that's okay. It just means the, um, the skin will be extra crispy. All right, and now I'm going to take our sauce and we are going to cover this bird with all of the beautiful sauce. Okay, and now we're gonna install it back into the machine and give it about another five minutes. Bum, bum, bum. It's done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this toward me this way and I'm gonna put my duck right onto this foil and I'm gonna get it wrapped up and it needs to rest for another 10 minutes so that it can come completely to temperature because it's almost there and it will continue cooking for the next 10 minutes, but I don't wanna overcook it. Uh, but look at that beauty. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up so we can keep some of that residual heat in there. And then I'll be back in 10 minutes to cut into this and show you what we got. All right, you guys, welcome back. <laughs> so excited, okay. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pair of my tongs and remove the foil. I'm gonna save those juices inside the foil, just in case. Oh my goodness. If you wouldn't have told me, if you wouldn't have just seen that come out of the rotisserie of the air fryer, would you believe it? I don't know that I would. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get these clips off. So loosen them, and it's, since it's been about 10 minutes, they are cool to the touch now. Uh, I mean, they're a little warm, but they're not hot. And then we're gonna yank that off, comes right out. And then we're gonna hold onto the bird and yank the other one completely out. Whoop. And voila. All right, and next we're gonna take our scissors and we are going to Set it free. And you guys, uh, this smells fantastic. Like you can tell that it's exotic, but it smells so, so good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this all taken care of. So first we're gonna take off the legs. So let's go ahead and chop those legs right off. Not the prettiest leg you ever did see, but dang, that looks delicious and very sticky in a very, very, very good way. So the benefit of doing the cutting before you stick it in your rotisserie, so like to, the benefit of cutting your duck up before you go into the basket, if you were, say you just couldn't fit it on your spit, would be that you would have nice even coloring on the insides of your duck as well as on the outside of this duck. Oh my, can you see the sticky goodness in that? Oh, you guys, if this doesn't make you want to roast your own duck in the rotisserie, I'm not sure what will. Okay, ready? Ooh, let's try, let's try. There's a piece of the meat right there sticking out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Mm. I shouldn't have tasted taking a bite. My mouth is watering now. Oh, that is so good. Okay, dun, dun, dun. Look at how beautiful and look at how juicy. Do you see the juices just coming out of that? Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be slicing it on the bird or if I was just supposed to slice it off the bird because this is my first time making duck. First time making duck. Okay, let's find the center and see if we can get this breast piece completely off the bone. There's still so much meat left on this carcass though. Probably gonna make some duck broth with it. 
And there we have a whole duck breast. Oh uh, my goodness. You guys, um, if you are a fan of duck, do not let duck intimidate you from cooking it because wow, this is fantastic. Let me just cut off a little bit of that sinew and dip it in this juice. Remember I saved the juice. We're gonna have it over wild rice and a veggie. Oh my. Mm. If you've never tried duck before, number one, you should. When it's on sale, you can get a really good deal on it because not a lot of people eat duck, but it is fantastic. Um, and you saw the rotisserie, it was relatively easy once it was in there. The problem is getting it in there, but we, we persevered and we figured it out and this is freaking amazing. I cannot wait to serve it to everyone here. They're gonna be fans of duck forever. And I'm not even joking. You know how sometimes people eat gamey meats and they're like, oh yeah, that's so good. And then you eat it and you're like, oh, uh, not really. This is dang amazing. But you don't have to believe me. You should make your own in your deluxe air fryer or any air fryer, but I do recommend the deluxe air fryer rotisserie function so that you could roll it around and it can cook in all of its juices and all that stuff on the inside will actually seep into the meat as it rotisseries. That flavor is phenomenal. You guys, this is a treat. This is amazing. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. Duck, my first time making duck, not my last. This is very, very good. But if you have any ideas for me, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, you guys, I'll make my own adventures and I'm gonna bring you along and I hope that you'll join me. All right, you guys, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.